Women farmers in Abuja have raised an alarm over the threats being posed by headsmen on their farms. They say many of them cannot visit their farms without company and the headsmen also pillage their farm produce. They are calling on the federal government to do something urgently so as to protect their occupation. Our correspondent Amadine Uyi visited some farms in Abuja and tells us more. Ms. Nana is one out of many rural women farmers that rely on farming for their livelihoods. Mercy, a mother of three, is into crop and poultry farming and farms melon known locally as egusi, maize, cassava, and aquanaut. Mercy is one out of numerous women farmers taking farming as a major occupation. However, women farmers like Mercy across the nation's capital, Abuja, says insecurity has become a major challenge in recent times. Insecurity in time of uh, farmers and uh, their headsmen is really dealing with us here in this village and it's a it's very difficult situation. My challenge for the security, the Fulani people, they are disturbing us too much. Because now, if I woke up in the morning, I will prepare to come, I do my work. Because in the farm, I see get food to eat. But the Fulani people, they cannot leave us. We coming inside here is because uh, we, we saw that there is protection around here. If not last year, I farmed maize around here. And to tell you the truth, uh, one hectare of maize, I didn't get up to half bag of maize, which is very appalling and not encouraging. Get one and wait, wait they call a bokoro. When they carry their cow come, if they don't see anybody from inside the farm, they will just command the cow, enter inside the cassava, and remove the cassava, begin to give them. Even yam massive, then go remove and give them. Then the cow will chop. After when you see them, they will command the cow, the cow will run, then they will face the farmer. Though Nigeria's federal government has consistently reiterated the need to diversify the nation's revenue base, many of these women farmers so the constant insecurity threat is not helping government's cause. Available data from the National Bureau of Statistics says women farmers make up to 79% of Nigeria's agricultural labor force. Some of these women say with regular pillaging of their farms by headsmen, they continue to record huge losses. The cassava farm I left not quite long. The farm, the, they really invade that farm the earth bought the stem and the tubers, which I bought the stem from ITC, from Ibadan, with the transport and everything, I lost both the stem and the tubers. They used to come with their own cow. Go and enter your farm, chopping all your crop, what you have planned, and you cannot get out to say. When you meet them for farm, when you want to talk, then you say they will kill you. And then you cannot get power reach them because they will reach four or five. They will carry cattle and begin to pursue you for farm. For many of these women farmers, insecurity continues to pose a major challenge. They say the threats of herdsmen has continued to affect their farming, farm output, and farm yields. Last week, we have a serious uh, bloodbath here. We, the villagers and the flani, today said they caught one man's hand. The, uh, the man is still in the hospital as I speak. My neighbor, it was the last two years. Up to now, the man never recover because talk, uh, just talk. Please, please, don't enter, don't enter. Before the man know, they caught the man. One hand now cannot walk. It's my neighbor. Last year, when we do the, our benefit for here, the benefit don't reach to remove. Then when we remove and we tighten to come and harvest it, you mean that tomorrow, then when we come, we carry busy and everything beat under the Benesiri finish. Before we come, we don't see any Benesiri for farm again. They don't carry and come out. Oh, if I see I sell them, I go get almost about 120,000. I lose them. Many of these farmers want urgent intervention from government, saying if nothing is done soonest, they might be forced to abandon farming, a situation stakeholders believe will catalyze a food crisis in the country. 
Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.